Hey everyone, it's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in Bangkok, Thailand. This area of Bangkok is called Na Na and it's right along Sukhumvit Road and right now I am on Soy 3 slash 1. This area is very well known as an international area of Bangkok and there are a lot of international and Middle Eastern restaurants and shops in this area. I came here today for lunch to eat a shawarma kebab. Before we go to eat the shawarma, I just want to say a big Happy New Year 2016 from Bangkok. And this year, Booking.com, which is a website that I use quite frequently, is challenging me to turn my resolutions into reservations. One of the places that I've wanted to visit for a very, very long time now, ever since back in high school when I took a class on world history, is Turkey. And I especially enjoyed learning about the history of Istanbul. Uh, it's a very, very, very old city. And also it has some very, very delicious food. With the help of Booking.com's resolution translator tool, I have already done a bunch of searching for hotels to stay at in Istanbul. There are thousands of hotels to stay at, just like Bangkok. When Ying and I travel, we often look for a hotel that is in a good location, that there is a lot of food right around that area, and also that it has good Wi-Fi. And that's basically the criteria that we look for when we search for somewhere to stay. I think we will probably choose to stay in the old area of town where there are a lot of famous historical sites and also there are there should be a lot of good restaurants I have searched and also in that area is the Grand Bazaar which is a giant market which I know I will have a lot of fun exploring when in Istanbul so I am really looking forward to this upcoming trip in 2016 to Istanbul but for right now I'm gonna go eat a shawarma this place is located right in the middle of soy 3 slash 1 and I have been coming here for quite a few years every now and then when I'm in this area they have two different types of shawarma which are I can feel the heat coming off of them right now, uh, chicken and beef, and I ordered one of each. Oh, actually I have no idea which one is the chicken and which one is the beef anymore, so I guess it will be a surprise for both of us. I definitely bit into the beef one first. All those little pieces of thinly cut beef with that just slightly um, singed edge and then there are some tomatoes in here. I think there's cucumber and then I like how they put it on that hot plate to give it that little brown edge around the outside. Okay, so by default, the shawarma in my other hand is gonna be the chicken one. Mm, and I think I actually like the chicken better. Uh, chicken is really nice and tender, and it has almost a like a buttery flavor to it. Hi, hi, okay. everyone. We're in Thailand. This one is amazing. <laughs> Tony, Trang, Trang, Amira, and Mira, and they're now enjoying a shawarma yeah. with me. Which one did you get? I got chicken. Okay, that's one I have in my left hand. And this is beef right here. Girl. Good girl. I decided to order one more chicken shawarma to go. I can't wait to eat this again when it's nice and hot. And what I love is that the chicken is both crispy and juicy all at the same time. That is just whetting my appetite for all of the food that I know I'm gonna eat in Istanbul. And I am most excitedly looking forward to eating a Turkish donor kebab probably as soon as I land in Istanbul. And also, what else? Kofta, metse, a bunch of grilled meat, and that's about all I know about Turkish food, but I am looking forward to learning a lot more by eating. And if you have any restaurant suggestions for me in Istanbul, I would love to hear from you in the comments below. And be sure to check out Booking.com's resolution translator tool so that you can turn your resolutions into reservations and make your goals happen. Thank you all very much for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below and I will see you on the next food video.